everyone so today we are going to solve another problem this problem is also uh, covers an important concept of data mining and data warehousing course uh, so let's win the following table summarizes the data set with three attributes a b and c and two class labels plus and minus according to the classification error rate right which attribute would be chosen as the first splitting attribute so uh, this particular question comes from the decision tree chapter in data mining so where we are um, means explained how to select an attribute so that it can act as a splitting point in the decision tree so this we need to determine right so that we can proceed further down into the tree and classify the data objects into particular class levels. So according to the error classification rate, which attribute would be chosen as the first splitting attribute? For each attribute, show the contingency table and the gains in classification error rate. So we need to first uh, basically to get the first splitting attribute, we need to find the maximum gain in uh, classification error rate. Basically, as the gain is maximized, uh, we are more sure that it is the best attribute that will provide uh, basically distinction between the classes. So, and for calculating gain, we need to construct the contingency table, which we'll discuss below. The error frequency for the data without partitioning on any attribute means the um, without partitioning the maximum error that can be possible due to the misclassification whether it is true or false is explained below like for original e origin 1 minus max of 50 by 100 comma 50 by 100 so how do we calculate this 50 so for calculating this 50 we will take the positive class and calculate the number of uh, basically uh, objects or the number of instances in this particular uh, row in this particular column so 5 plus 20 plus 25 that comes out to be 50 and for minus class we have 20 plus 5 plus 25 so again it is 50 but if we see the total number of instances so total number of instances is 50 plus 50 so that is 100 so this 100 will be in the denominator so 1 minus so for both classes we need to calculate the maximum so 1 minus max of both the classes we get 1 minus 50 by 100 so that is 50 by 100 so this we need to calculate the uh, basically we need to calculate the e error rate right we need to calculate the error rate using the origin original uh, basically um, data set without partitioning so then we take the attribute a for making the split so we will take one by one all the attributes so we take a so for the contingency table for a is given here ct so when a is true number of positive instances is 25 and when a is true number of negative instances is zero so number of positive instances when a is f that is a uh, false you may take it as false so it is 25 again and for negative class it is 50 so then we calculate the error rate when a is equal to t so for a is equal to t 1 minus max of 25 by 25 comma 0 by 25 since total total of class uh, means when a is equal to true is 25 plus 0 that is 25 so denominator is 25 in both the cases and for both the cases the mm, number of instances in each class is basically uh, written in the numerator part right so let's go ahead so after that uh, in the this part we will get 0 because uh, basically we will take 25 by 25 out of here and 1 minus 1 is 0 right so uh, after that for a is equal to false we have 1 minus max of 
25 plus 50 that is 75 in both the cases and 25 in the first class and 50 in the second class so we have this will be the basically uh, max out of it so we get uh, 25 by 75 that is 1 by 3 now we will calculate the gain right we will calculate the gain so for gain we have e original that is what we calculated up above and then minus 25 by 100 because there are only 25 observations here out of the first 100 which we saw which we saw here so out of that only 25 observations are here so we have 25 by 100 into error rate uh, when a is equal to t minus 75 by 100 because 75 observations are there when a is false by 100 into error rate when a is f so this if we just put the value as we calculated so we get 25 of 100 right so this is how we calculate the gain for any particular attribute now similarly we take b as the splitting attribute and calculate the gain in error rate so first we have the contingency table here so if we see the contingency table is uh, basically if b is true so then we have 20 negative instances so uh, we have uh, 20 when b is false we have 20 negative instances and sorry when b is false the number of positive instances is 20 and when b is false the number of negative instances is 30 similarly for pt just as we calculated for a there is uh, nothing new here so for that again we get e is equal to uh, means error rate when b is equal to t 1 minus 30 by 50 uh, comma 20 by 50 because like both the cases the total is 50 only right so uh, we will just take that and uh, basically for when this is for this part like b is equal to t we will get 30 by 50 comma 20 by 50 so the um, 1 minus max is 20 by 50 similarly for b is equal to f then uh, basically the gain in Mm, error rate for attribute b we get e original minus 50 by 100 because there are 50 observations and again 50 by 100 right so we will just put the value and get 10 by 100 then we take c as the splitting attribute and again we calculate the gain in error rate so it is 25 25 25 25 again and again we calculate the same thing and we calculate it as zero right because if we just put in the value we will see that it comes out to be 1 minus 1 that is 0 now since a has the highest gain it would be chosen as the splitting attribute because as i told we need to choose the maximum uh, basically the maximum gain in error rate so if we check for a it is 25 by 100 which is greater than b right and c is 0 as we noticed so I hope you understood what I tried to explain. So thank you.